send text messages on this thing. It's an old Underwood typewriter. <laughs> I, I try to go, hey, Catherine, go up and just try tapping those keys. See how hard they are to push. They're really, they're really heavy, aren't they? <laughs> Much, much, uh, I learned to type on a big typewriter, and I, I have ruined the keyboard on my new laptop because I still come down so hard that I've taken all the numbers and letters off. Okay, kids, back off. <laughs> because. Now, um, I've brought along a few other things. Just to show, just to, yeah. Here, here's another telephone. It, it has a dial on there, but it's, it's not plugged in. Sorry. <laughs> and and um, when I was young, do I know how old I am? You know what this is? What kind of a pen? You folks, what kind of a ballpoint pen? Those came in when I was in grade seven. We never had the ballpoint pens before that. We had pens like this one, which is a fountain pen, and it carries ink inside it. And if you couldn't afford one of those, you had a pen like this. That's right. You have to dip it into the inkwell, and then you get some ink stuck on it, and then you write with it, and you can write about two words, and then you have to dip it again. That's right, yeah. And we had pencils. Pencils, yeah, yeah. Um, when we didn't have computers, we had typewriters like that one. And you had to type on them. <laughs> but before typewriters, we still had books. Feel the, feel the top of that one. Feel how thick it is. Feel all the lumps on it. That's right. Or maybe even before that. I think that's from maybe the 1800s. It, these these Bibles are so old. Now here, very carefully, feel that paper. Very carefully, because it will break. It's so old that it will all crumble. You see, it's already starting to break up around the edges. Very soft. Very soft. Yeah, that's right. It's it's very old and it was very special. And that's the Bible. And that there was a time. When many communities, the only, they had only one book. You've, you've seen lots of books. But at one time, there was only one book that people could read. The Bible. Yeah? Yeah? Now, here's the story. There are, how many books are there in the Bible? You're right. Very good. 66 books in the Bible. And, and um, people used to read from them. Now the story is, and we're going to be looking at it, and Julie's going to be talking with you at, at your time, that Jesus went to his church in Nazareth, and he, um, he stood up and read, read the way somebody stands up and reads here. But he didn't get a book, because they didn't have books. You know what they had in those days instead of books? You know what this is? It's called a scroll. That's right. And it's all written out in one long piece of paper. And when Jesus read, he would get something like this, and he would read from it. Now, here's where I have to see if technology is going to work. Because 
Can you see it here? That's a picture of the scroll that Jesus read from. You see how the bottom edge of it is all frayed? All worn. And that's the exact verse that he read. Can you read it? It's the one in white. Uh, I've lost it. not going to come out for me. When, when Jesus read his verse from a scroll, he sat, he, he read the scroll, and it offended the people so much because they didn't expect him to read this, that uh, they were very angry with him. And I think Julie's going to explain some of that to me. So, can we be ready now? <laughs> that one used to be a letter B. Once it, because we can't get them anymore. This is this is right out of the right out of practice. Actually, this is Dorothy Peacock's typewriter, and you should suggest that to her. <laughs> Dorothy? She says, why don't you stick a B on where the letter B is missing? You don't use it very often. Okay, are you ready? It's time to go out to your classes.